Well, good morning, everybody. Happy Monday, Manatee. I hope you're doing great. Uh, I hope you had a great weekend. I know I did. I had an incredible weekend of ministry. I got to do an amazing women's conference, and then I got to preach at my home church, two services, and we saw God move in a way that we could not imagine. Truly, truly a weekend kissed from heaven. And I'm believing for an incredible week. I'm believing for God to meet his people in a great and mighty way this week. Um, the verse that's in my heart this morning is found in Matthew. It's Matthew 6.33, and it says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. And I want to tell you that we, by nature, as people, we are people of appetite. There are things that speak to us. There are things that we desire and that we want. And these are the things, based on our appetite, that we begin to seek after. It could be money. It could be success. It could be schooling. It could be relationships. These are things that our appetite drives us to seek. And it's okay because we should seek things. But the Bible says in all you're seeking, seek the kingdom first. And what is it telling you? It's telling you to prioritize. Put God and his things first. Seek him. Seek his kingdom. Seek the things of God. Seek the word. Seek the things of righteousness. Seek the things that belong to the kingdom of Jesus Christ first. And everything else that you want will be added to you. Don't get it twisted. Don't begin to seek all the other things and then to say, I'll, I'll see God later. No, because I promise you that if you do that, you will never see God. Because God doesn't belong any other place but first. So you seek him first. And then all these other things that we desire, that we want, he'll give you. All of them will be added. He'll just add them up for you. Because you don't have to seek this. I'll give it to you. And you don't have to seek that, I'll give it to you. And you don't have to seek this, I'll give it to you. Put me first. Seek the kingdom first. Put God first. Seek after his heart. What does that mean? Give him the first moments of your day. Give him the first fruits of your day. Give him uh, your best, your best uh, time. You know, oftentimes what we do with God is we give him what's left over. After we spend all our time and all our resources on everything else, then we seek the Lord. We know what he gets after that, our leftovers. He doesn't get our best. No, give God your best time. Give God your best place. Give him first place. And all the things that surround his kingdom. Seek him first. And everything else that your heart is seeking. Those desires, those things that you want, they'll be added. They'll be given right back to you, one right after the other. That's how God operates. You know, he's the boulder that sits in the center of our heart. And everything else should trickle its way around it. But oftentimes we fill our hearts with all those other things and then we try to take this boulder, which is God, and find place. And there's no room because it's been filled with everything else. So I'm going to challenge you, man. Make it a priority of your life to put the Lord first. Prioritize God and his kingdom first. And everything else that you're seeking will be added to you. Father, I pray, God, for everyone within the sound of my voice today. I pray, Lord God, that they would seek you and seek you first, Lord God, that they would have an appetite for your kingdom, Lord God. And Father, I thank you that appetite grows, Lord God. So as they begin to seek you, they will have an appetite to seek you more, Lord God. And their appetite for you will grow more and more and more and more and more and more. And God, as that happens, Lord, everything that they want, everything that they're seeking, you'll just add to them, Lord God. As they put you first, you will take care of everything that concerns their life, Lord God. And Father, as they prioritize your kingdom, Lord God, they themselves, God, they'll find that their appetites will change and their appetites will become godly appetites, Lord God. And the things they desire will be the things of your heart and the things that you want for them, Lord God. I pray you anoint this week for every hearer within the sound of my voice, Lord God, that they would walk in your fullness, your grace, your goodness, Lord God, and that your anointing would settle over every single one. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Have a great week, everybody.